First Chronicles 29.16 says, O Lord our God, from your hand comes all this abundance that we have provided to build you a house for your holy name, and all of it belongs to you. Psalm 24.1 says, The earth is the Lord's and everything in it. Scripture also tells us that every good gift is from God. Many of you know that we are beginning a final phase of the capital campaign that began in 2014 with many building improvements, mainly the beautiful gathering space that gives us a recognizable entry into the church with a space for celebration and fellowship and the elevator, which gives us access to all floors. John and I have been in conversation and we've been praying the prayer, the campaign prayer that says, Lord, what will you do through me? What will you do through us? Kim and I pray together often, most often when we sit down to eat, where we share in the meals that are a part of our regular blessings. It was several years ago during Kim's illness that I personally began to understand stewardship and the importance of tithing. Doug Turner in his book Revealed states that stewardship may be the most pressing issue of our age. Are we defined by our possessions or are we defined by our relationship with God? I wanted then, as I do now, to be defined by my love for God, who He is, and how He brought healing to Kim. This was a time when we were in a terrible mess with our finances. We began to pray for healing. The healing came not just in the physical, but also in the financial. We have certainly had some ups and downs along the way. What I'm talking about is the renewed relationship that I received in Christ through what Kim and our family was experiencing. I started listening to Dave Ramsey and we did the Dave Ramsey snowball plan. And for the first time, tithing became something we did regularly. And every time we gave, God's provisions were there for us. He blessed us with painting jobs at just the right time to cover those immediate needs. Along the way, there were sacrifices, but tithing became important. Giving our first to God, we gave what we could at the time, and the ability to give became easier and easier, a part of who we are. We were trusting in God, giving our financial concerns over to Him. We are still learning each and every day what God wants to do through us. God continues to bless us in so many ways, and one of those blessings is coming to Maryville and serving together at First United Methodist Church. We've learned over the years that every good gift is from God. As we receive, we strive to live and return what God has blessed us with by living generously, offering ourselves hands and feet, and giving to His glory so that others may, may thrive. And so we want to give to this capital campaign of debt elimination for today's missions and tomorrow's missionaries, today's seekers and tomorrow's believers. This is not just a building project. It's about building God's kingdom, disciples making disciples. FUMC is a place where disciples learn to love God with every fiber of their being and love their neighbor as themselves. This is a place of authentic ministry and discipleship. We feel it and we see it. Pastoral families, they come and go. It's a, it's a part of the nature of who we are as Methodists. Scott and Michelle were the pastoral couple at the beginning of this project. And as John and I are here now, we are committed to the spiritual future of FUMC and we desire to participate in our financial future. We are on a, a journey of prayer and generosity and we invite you to join. A journey in the fruit of the Spirit that is bathed in gratitude, prayer, faithfulness, and sacrifice. Together in faith, you and I, we and us, we will eliminate our debt. Every gift is important. Every contribution helps us to reach the goal of elimination. And John and I want to be a part of that very good goal. Together in faith, we will continue to live into the fruitfulness and the faithfulness of good stewardship that God has called us into, and it's all for the glory of God.